UC Baseball falls to Tennessee in game two of this series, 7-5, your final score. Joined now by head coach Scott Guggins. And uh, this is a game really kind of had a little bit of everything uh, from both teams. You both were able to get some big hits uh, when you had runners on. Both teams had some good pitching at times. Seemed like the balls just maybe had one or two more big hits in key situations. Yeah, again, I, I think so part of it, uh, I talked to our guys, just a, you know attention to detail. We didn't handle the ball as well as we should. We had some opportunities uh, dropping the ball and a couple tags that if, if we make those those plays and make those outs, uh, you know, they don't, they don't extend the inning. Uh, Tennessee's a very good team. So when you give team, good teams more outs, they usually score, and they took advantage of it. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we did get some timely hitting today. Uh, I thought Cam did a great job, our starting pitching. Uh, and I, I thought all our pitchers did a really good job, uh, you know, Clayton did a good job coming in, Hammer uh, at, at the end, and, and Jalen Wade. They all threw the ball well, uh, gave us a chance. Just, uh, you know, attention to detail with handling the baseball. You know, we talked before the game about Cam Aldred, and you said, you know, if he can find the zone, he's going to be uh, one tough customer on the mound. And that was almost foreshadowing as uh, he had a career-high six strikeouts today, really looking good. And if you can get that kind of work from him the rest of the season, that really bodes well. Yeah, and again, that, that's what we're looking for out of, out of Cam. We talked about that. He, you know, he's in control out there. We need those type of outings. We need him to go a little bit deeper in the game if he can because I thought at, at one point in time he was cruising. Uh, like I said, we didn't take care of the ball, uh, and that, that you know, drove up his pitch count also. But uh, he, he's going to be uh, a good one for us. A good day for A.J. Bumpus. Had a home run, had a double off the top of the wall in right field, nearly got a second. But we've been saying how it seems like he might just be kind of one hit away from getting him going, and this might have been the point to kind of flip the switch for him this year. I'm with you, Matt. Let's hope that gets him going. He looked good at the plate, uh, especially that last one. You know, he got down 0-2 and he was battling, and then, uh, you know, he popped it out. So it was good to see. And I, I hope that is because, again, he's, he's a good ball player for us. He's one of our better hitters, and we, we do need to get him going. Uh, with this being, uh, you know, scheduled as the opening weekend, really nice crowd out here at Marchot Stadium today, and that was great to see. It was awesome to see all the all the fans out here and the kids, and and uh, you know they got down on the for anthems and all that stuff. So it was really good to see uh, the crowd. The sun was out. It was a nice day here at the ballpark. Hopefully, a sign of things to come this year. Well, coach, a uh, chance to uh, try to take a game from the series tomorrow, and uh, oftentimes during the year, you know, that can be a big thing, whether it's closing a sweep or, or winning one game in a series or, or trying to win the series on a Sunday. The Sunday game is always very important. It is, and you know every game's important. As we said, every run's important today because again, there are a couple situations we score a run there, or we we hold them without getting a run. Maybe maybe we win that ball game. But yeah, the, tomorrow's going to be big. Uh, we have no control over what happened today. We talked about you know this is a journey. We got, hopefully we're learning from it. We we can win and learn. Uh, right now, unfortunately, we, we've been uh, on the other end of it. But hopefully, we're learning and be able to come out tomorrow with a little bit more energy uh, and, and take it to them. A couple close games this weekend, Coach, and uh, we wish you the best of luck tomorrow. Thank you for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you back out here at Marchat Stadium. Thanks, Matt. All right, that's head coach Scott Guggen. Cincinnati falls to Tennessee in game number two, 7-5.